Payne Capital Management, Courtney Garcia, is back with us. It's good to see you. Welcome back to Overtime. So we're going to get to some new picks, but I want to revisit an old pick because you picked Exxon three weeks ago. That stock's mm -hmm. up 9% since. What do you do today with it? Yeah, I, I still like this. I mean, I'm definitely a long-term investor here, and I'm not going to look at these for just a couple of weeks. Um, Exxon is very much a play, especially with inflation kicking in right now. And don't forget with Exxon, they're actually expected to double their earnings by about 2027. So this is definitely a longer-term play. I think it's a really good opportunity. Don't feel like you missed the jump here just because it's already done so well. You still feel like oil is going higher, and that's why you think, I mean, that's a longer-term story as well for, for oil itself? And I think what you need to keep in mind with these is oil prices do not need to be as high as they are now. The break even is significantly lower when it comes to that. They think they only need oil to be around 30 to 30 to 35 dollars a barrel to break even. So even if oil comes down, they still have that effort for profitability going forward. So I think that's what you so, really want to look at it. They don't need oil to be as high as it is. If it is, it's only an added benefit. So I have to be honest. I looked at your stock picks and I saw Toll Brothers and I went, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, yes. the home builders have gotten smoked. Why is now the time to go into a cyclical stock, which is very much in question today? I think that's the reason, right, is how much of that has been oversold. Because what you're looking at right now is there's this dynamic here where there's a huge undersupply in the housing market. And the home builders are going to be the thing that bridges that gap. Yeah, their price to earnings is now some of the lowest in the in the entire markets right now, which is why it's a good thing to take advantage of. But arguably, the biggest risks with this is the fact that affordability is becoming a problem right now with interest rates rising and housing costs going up. But that's why I really like Toll Brothers as an option here, because they're in the, the luxury home market. So when they're selling million dollar homes, they're selling to people who already own existing homes that have appreciated in value, where affordability isn't quite as much of a problem as, say, your first time home buyers. So yes, that is going to be a concern, but I do think this can be a really good opportunity to take advantage of that huge supply and demand discrepancy, which isn't going away in the short term. Of the airlines that you like, Alaska stands taller than the rest. Why so? I like Alaska for a couple of reasons. Um, number one is they clearly have pricing power. They've actually been able to increase their prices by about 3% since pre-pandemic levels. They became profitable middle of last year when a lot of their competitors are still showing losses. And I really like that they did not have to get overly leveraged during the pandemic, again, like a lot of their competitors did. And so I do really like this increase in travel demand. But when you're looking at them, you want the stronger balance sheets. And Alaska is definitely one of those. I mean, you have Delta Airlines, I believe you like, Expedia, so you're very much uh, playing that game. And your final pick was BHP Group Limited, so again, a commodity-related play.